Well, it definitely would have been one of my projects if something didn't freaking happen to come and screw it up. What is up, YouTube? I'm NintendoMan64, bringing you our seventh episode of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last episode, we took down Guard Armor and joined forces with Donald and Goofy to explore things and do fantastical things in other worlds. Now, off scrub, for first things first, before I talk about what I've done to improve the team, I need to explain some things. Okay, evidently, Elgato projects, so all projects that are Elgato related, as I feel like lighting this fire, anyway. All Elgato projects are going to take a lot longer to edit than my Fraps projects did. The Fraps projects, all I really had to do was convert them into one specific file type, and presto, I didn't have to deal with any problems. Elgato is going to take a little bit more interesting things, because I tried to cut corners and be like, because the first six episodes I got done, they were done moderately well, moderately quickly, and, um... Well, not moderately quickly. They took a long time, but they were done very well. So I was, I was saying, oh, well, maybe it's not too bad. And while I was processing last night, I finished recording at 10 o'clock. It was 11.30 at night by the time it hit 10% on Elgato's conversion to MP4. 10%. It took, an, it took 90 minutes to get to 10%. So I, you obviously knew I wasn't going to deal with that overnight i mean that was ridiculous i mean i'm probably gonna do that again because it's 4 30 tonight i'm probably not gonna do too much tonight and i'll probably just have the thing running in the background while i sleep but uh anyway apparently this thing does not like you to cut corners because i had it i did i did the original method i do which is i converted all my fraps files to um you know the mp4 Actually, I did it to Windows this time because I wanted to convert it and do everything on Windows Media, uh, Windows Media, Windows Movie Maker. And then, as a result, Kingdom Hearts was playing at half speed. It was the exact same length of the videos that I had recorded, but not at all the exact same uh, thing. It was in slow motion, so half of what I did in all these videos got destroyed and deleted. It was an absolute nightmare for me personally. Like. Like, absolute nightmare for me. It was it was horrifying to do. And to wake up to that this morning. To find that only Pokemon had worked. So it was it was a nightmare. So it's going to take a little while, these Elgato projects. So I hope you guys can understand that. Anyway, while getting off subject. um, As you guys can tell, this is a completely new game. I did not make enough save files. Which is very sounds a lot like me. Anyway, um... The our levels may be a bit different. The time is definitely different, and I've changed our equipment just a little bit. Um, let's get that mega ether out. I'll take another potion for myself. Um, I changed our equipment just a little bit. Um, Don, I have now the thunder ring and the fire ring, which I bought in Sid's shop right there, the accessory shop, which, as you can see, boost defense and resist damage to fire and lightning i chose fire and lightning for me mostly because those are probably going to be the two best uh things that we're going to have to deal with uh donald i gave a protect chain and the blizzard ring and goofy i gave a protect chain and brave warrior so now goofy is good i think we're all really good and with all that crap with this nonsense out of the way four minutes into the video we can actually start doing shit yeah now, when it comes to the world's deciding and stuff, a lot of you pretty much just told me to do whatever, well, not a lot of you guys, honestly, I'm recording this about a week after what we had done with the other thing, so, anyway, what you guys had told me to do was, well, what my friends and such had told me to do was basically just do the world's any way you want them to, because it's your project and all that stuff, I'm like, you know what, that's right, and I, the playthrough I did that got scrapped because of friggin' my computer, my stupidity, and Elgato, the combination of all three, I did the worlds in order, and it actually was a disaster, because one of the worlds I actually flubbed up so badly that it was like, you know what, it's kind of unfair of me to do that, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the worlds in a circle, the first four worlds of Kingdom Hearts, including Traverse Town, are split out in a cir- are split out, yeah, are spread out in a circle, 
So as you can see, we have the half circle here. Once we complete one of these worlds, another world will pop up and we'll do that one. And then we'll split out and do the one at the bottom or the one on the top. As you can see, I will show you the worlds as Chip and Dale explain. The green cursor shows your current position. I'm not doing. I'm not doing the Chip and Dale voices. I don't think I can. My throat hurts. Select your de next destination with the cursor. Observe the battle level when selecting destinations. More stars mean stronger heartless in that world. As you can see, we only have two worlds accessible to us right now: a one star and a two star. Now, ordinarily, this wouldn't matter. However, the two-star world is actually kind of important to the overall flow of the story. So what we're going to do is we're not going to do the two-world right now. I mean, like, for, like, the gameplay aspect, not the story. If you're going to tackle a story, then the one world is the more important one. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, it's not just like you get to select a world and go there. As you can tell, we've got other things to do. We travel to different worlds on the gummy ship. The heartless ships often give us a hard time. Always be on the lookout during flight. Your journey will be documented until you reach your destination. Seek out missions each world has to offer. Control the gummy ship with the left stick. Tilt it up to descend and tilt down to ascend. The blue brigade shows the power level. Firing lasers, among other things, consumes power. The green gauge shows the strength of the armor. If it reaches zero, it's back to the departing point. They also didn't tell you that X is your break, so you may not need the break that often. Sometimes it'll be useful, but it's not. This is the gummy ship aspect of Kingdom Hearts. Without a doubt, a lot of people's least favorite aspect. I mean, you definitely have people who like it in this game. I mean, in this game, it's the worst aspect. In Kingdom Hearts 2, they definitely beefed everything up to great degrees. I love Kingdom Hearts 2 for that. Um... But this is definitely the more gratuitous thing you'll have to do. It's obnoxious, but you know what? It, it gets you being able to have this good hand-eye coordination, which you will need later on in the game. Um, one thing you can do, though, uh, as a positive for having this stuff being boring as hell, is the fact that you will actually be able to make your own spaceships later, or gummy ships later on. You need to acquire all these little things that are dropping off, except if it's just shield, or he or power, I mean armor, or power things. You want to collect them, because it's good. they're all going to be really useful for you. Like, all the things in these little, ast these blue asteroids, they're useful for you for immediately, like if you need health, or if you need power. As you can see, we have not used any power, that's because we have not had any real lasers to fire. This is just a cannon. And they call it a cannon in this, so you don't have to... So it's a little annoying, but hey. You want to collect all these you can if you want to build a gummy ship later on. You can use this gummy ship the rest of the way, but I don't recommend it. And I don't think the game recommends it, because its armor is kind of shoddy, to say the least. But it doesn't matter, because just like that, we have accessed our first world. Which is... Wonderland! Oh, well, well, we may as well. Disembark to Wonderland. As you guys had that sign, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of Wonderland and Kingdom Hearts. I think it's just because you missed out on so much potential. I mean, the flow of the worlds in Kingdom Hearts as you see the Wonderland thing would have been so much more awesome if they'd been able to truly take advantage of the insanity of Wonderland, but they really don't. It's mostly just like a riddle world. And Goofy, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my word, what's this? I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! I'm here, I should be there! Oh, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Oh, the queen! Fix my mic there. My head for sure! Well, to be honest, guys, it's not like Wonderland is a fantastic world in this game. I mean, it's definitely a good world. I mean, it's got great things about it. Uh, for the most part, it's definitely one of the worlds you won't see me in, like, grinding in later on. Like, there are things you have to do here, but nothing major after you beat the story. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just keep going. Key is, as Alice did, is to follow the White Rabbit. Nothing really straightforward about that. I mean, nothing that's not straightforward about that. Whoa, how the hell did you get so small? 
How the hell did you get so small? Oh, push. Okay. I did want to go to the door, but okay. Oh, yeah, that's why you actually had to do that. That's cool. How did he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. <laughs> I love all their reactions. Must you be so loud? You woke me up. <sighs> Good morning. It's a little crazy. Good night. I need a bit more sleep. Wait, Ooh. what do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? Over there. Oh, cool. Convincing us to take drugs. Oh, Lewis Carroll, your unsubtlety knows no bounds. Drink from this, shrink down to size. Now, what you know now is now that you've shrunken down to normal size, or to miniature size, there will be Heartless down there to fight you, so you gotta be ready right for battle. It's the traditional guys, but... Soon you'll be encountering new Heartless. I mean, eventually each world will start introducing its new... It's... Hiccup, sorry. Its own special Heartless. I think actually... With the... I think actually... Two worlds are the only ones that really don't introduce their own particular brand of Heartless. And one of them is Wonderland, so it's a little annoying, but what you gonna do? Wonderland basically just recycles all these other types of Heartless that you could find in Traverse Town and other worlds and whatnot. But hey, it's not bad. Like these guys. These are Red Nocturnes, I believe they're? No, or is it Blue Nocturne? Um, what is, what is the red ones? Hmm. I think it's actually Red Nocturne. We'll look up in the journal. I mean, I don't want to get my facts wrong, especially on a Kingdom Hearts game. So let's look at these Heartless. Um, oh, it is Red Nocturne. Although, it's Red Nocturne, Blue Rhapsody, Green Requiem, and... Yellow is the one I just don't, I never remember what the yellow one is. They all basically reference types of magical spells you'll be able to use. Red Nocturne obviously uses fire. In case you didn't know. Alright, can we follow you now? Can we go inside you now? Apparently not. We're just going to let the doorknob sleep. That's okay. That's okay by me, guys. That's okay by me. Okay, with nothing really much else to do, uh, let's go into... This oh the Queen's Castle. Wow, we've cut so much of Alice in Wonderland out, it's not even funny. All them card soldiers. Alice, what are you doing there, sweetie? All oh, them lungs, dude. You just ran. What the hell? I'm on trial. But why? Her Majesty, the Queen of Hearts, presiding. <laughs> this girl is the culprit. There's no doubt about it. And the reason is... Because I say so, that's why. That is so unfair. Well, have you anything to say in your defense? Of course. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen. Oh god. <laughs> the rabbit's like, don't do it. So so mean. Silence! You don't do it, sweetie. <laughs> she, she reminds me a lot of Donkey Kong. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? Goofy's pupil. Well, there it is. Oh yeah. And that's against the rule. Where was his pupil? The court finds the defendant guilty as charged. For the crimes of assault and attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! Oh, please! Hold it right there! Who are you? How dare you interfere with my court? We are the bitch patrol. Excuse when me. We see a we bitch in our face. Uh huh. It's the heart. Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? I do have proof. You a bitch! Oh, don't put Alice in a cage. That's not nice. Bring me evidence of Alice's innocence. Failing, it's off with all of your heads. 
Gather as much or as little evidence as you please. Report back here once you're ready. Okay, what she means by that is actually kind of important. All you have to do, really, is find one piece of evidence and bring it back here. However, if you're asking me, you want to find all four. It is almost integral to your well-being if you want, if you have all four. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. Like, I'm dead serious. If you want to have the nice, a nice smooth ride through Wonderland, you'll want to find all four pieces. And I will help you find all four pieces, but first let's talk to Alice. Who are you? I'm Sora. I'm Goofy, and that there's Donald. Pleased to meet you, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'm sorry you got mixed up in this nonsense. Why are you on trial in the first place? I should like to know the very same thing. Apparently, I was guilty from the moment I took the stand. That's crazy. So, where are you from? Hmm, curious. I can't quite remember. You see, I found this mysterious rabbit hole. When I tried to peek inside, I tumbled in head over heels. And I found myself here. So you're from another world. That's funny. Maybe you don't need a ship then. I don't get it. What do you mean, another world? Enough! The defendant will be silent! Uh-oh. Poor Alice. Oh, if only I hadn't peeked inside that rabbit hole. I guess I'm a bit too curious for my own good. I asked this Cheshire cat how to get home, and he told me to ask the Queen. So I came here to see her, and I was arrested. So, thank you, Alice. That's actually quite enlightening. Let us go find the Cheshire cat. He is the one that will be guiding us along this journey. And there's only one area we have not come in through yet. Oh, Donald, do you have new... Do you have any new abilities? No, you don't. Okay. To the Lotus Forest, which is where we hope to find the cat of the Cheshire variety. Let's see. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. I wish I did the Bane voice, but I don't have a lot of foresight. Who are you? Who indeed? Poor Alice, soon to lose her head, and she's not guilty of a thing. Hey, if you know who the culprit is, tell us. The Cheshire Cat has all the answers, but doesn't always tell. The answer, the culprit, the cat, all lie in darkness. Wait! They've already left the forest. I won't tell which exit. There are four pieces of evidence in all. Three are a cinch to find. The fourth is tricky. Big reward if you find them all. Should we trust him? To trust or not to trust, I trust you'll decide. Cryptic words from the man of the from the cat of the Cheshire variety. I almost said the man of the Cheshire variety. That ain't no Cheshire man. That's a Cheshire cat. It's a cat. Beat up the cat. We want to beat up the cat. No, we don't want to beat up the cat. Beating up cats is wrong. Unless they're mean kitties. Like that one from Cinderella. Yeah, you beat him up. He's a stupid cat. He's a stupid cat anyway. Okay, there's a lot to talk about here in the Lotus Forest. There's a lot of things you may not, you may miss throughout your journey. You can talk to the flowers here. They'll ask you for items and then they will offer, they give you rewards for those specific items. This one, for example. Give me a potion and I'll make you bigger. I'll have to make a note for this guy. Just come back here. Just a wee bit. Alright. But the Lotus Forest is loaded with Heartless. Because why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be, guys? The world of Kingdom Hearts is... All the worlds in Kingdom Hearts are loaded with Heartless. Okie dokie. Get this Trinity here first. I'm going to be getting all the Trinities I can when I see them. I may be going to other places to get more trinities, like, um, like, I may go and wait, like, till later on to find other trinities, but if I have the, the capacity to use trinities and get them, I will do them. Don't worry about that. Some of them you actually have to do before a certain period. Like, uh, there's just one in another world later on. You'll, you'll know, I'll be talking about it when we get to that world. Uh, you'll actually need to switch out for Donald and Goofy and go to get that uh that particular trinity because if you can't get that trinity 
it's inaccessible for the rest of the game, and that sucks. Not a particularly good game design choice. We found the first piece of evidence, as you saw. I don't get how you put footprints in a box. I think it was the footprints, right? Oh, in fact, I don't get how you get all these pieces of evidence into a box. I mean... Oh, no. Bad jump. Bad jump. You guys need to get out of my way. I need to... Long jump this! Yeah! Nice. Okay. To this treasure chest. Oh, it's the puppies! I love the puppies! I love the puppies. You must always fight to protect the puppies. Alright, there's the second piece of treasure. I mean treasure. Evidence, not treasure. We've got enough treasure. No, we don't. We can always use more treasure. If we said we have enough treasure, then we're at the end of the game. Jeez. Oh, you can see there's a giant rock there, which means there's more to Wonderland that we can't explore just yet. Uh, that should move soon, I, I hope. I hope I'm not just bullshitting myself. I'm pretty certain you have to go that way in order to beat this world. Alright, let's see. And we got antenna. Ooh, that's not good. Alright, so we got two things of evidence. Now, the third is somewhat tricky to find. You saw that door in the tree that I almost went in before. This one. You want to go in here. And you noticed that when we were here last time, or when we were in the bizarre room last time, there was a little pink box atop of the... I guess this would be the fireplace. I don't get why you'd have a fireplace and an oven next to each other, but that's okay. That's not my prerogative, because it's not my town. How the hell do you put stench in a box? Oh my god, no. No, 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 Michael. You will not make that joke. No, you will not. You will not, no matter how tempting it is. I said it poorly in the last time I attempted to do this. No, 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 I will not. It was an extremely bad taste. It was an extremely bad taste. Okay, I haven't saved yet in Wonderland, so let's, let's do that. I am going to have four save files active at a time. I will delete them once I start move on to the next game. Because I want to save all the memory I can on this thing. Uh, that was my last save. So let's get over this. That was where we would be fighting Leon at the moment. Well, not at the moment. I'll save about maybe once or twice in each world. I may have to do it more in the Tarzan world. So I may need to open up a fifth one. But that's okay. I deleted my original save file. Because it's not really that necessary. Because I'm going to be doing the exact same stuff I did in that one in here. So... Don't have to worry too much about that. Now do you? Ooh. 